Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a watch video. My apologies, it's been a long long time uh, for those that follow me. But thank you very much, we're over 50 subs now which is great. But anyway, enough about that, let's get into the watch. Today we have a Timex Expedition Shock. Uh, crazy, crazy watch, huge watch. Uh, Timex's own take on the very, very famous G-Shock that I've covered in, in numerous videos and I'm sure you may or may not have seen those. The model number, I'm not quite sure, however it will be included in the description below. So without further ado, let's open it up. So, first of all, all you've got is a Timex box. It's only cardboard. Will I keep it? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? There we go. True since 1854. So, you'll see here, here it is, and I will point out guys, I have had this out of the box to set the time and have a look at the functions and take some of the plasticky stuff off that uh, I normally do in the unboxings, so it's all ready to go, just an empty box there, that can be put away. So here it is, now this will be, I believe, the model number, but maybe not, it may just be the, the shop number from where I bought it from, so I'll, I'll put all that info in the description guys you guys there it actually comes a little plastic stand there is a notice here uh, gives some of the features so expedition grid shock designed for outdoor torture tests shock resistance to ISO standards stainless steel top plate stopwatch countdown timer and alarm uh, it is water resistant this one to 100 meters it does have an indiglow light looks like there is a booklet in there which I'm sure we'll just give more information, however, I'm sure if you want to read that up, you will do in your own time. So, on to the timepiece itself, and as you can see, it is huge. I think it's 50mm across. Um, I've got here one of my Pro Trex for comparison. Um, the video for this review of this will be in the description as well. As you can see, it's more of a, a rectangular shape, this one, but it is pretty, pretty huge. Um, these are big chunky watches I think the the oblong type shape makes it look even bigger than it actually is uh, so we've got a, a nice big thick rubber strap um, steel front plate with uh, the indiglow button there which is not going to light up at all because I'm in the brightest room possible I'll tell you what we can do if we just go off and then there we go how about that so yeah really really bright light and I apologize again about that we'll just let that focus in so uh, as you can see really thick strap what it does have what I noticed yesterday when I sort of took it out to sort of write up some of the comments that I'll be commenting on um, it has this on the uh, the keeper here there's actually a little stud in there which you can see which sits nicely into one of those slots really means you know it's, it's not going to fall off your wrist during all of those outdoor torture tests that Timex expect you to do uh, the back plate there as well just stainless steel back battery uh, gives the mod number for the battery there water resistance etc etc onto the actual face itself then we see we have the timer there the date is correct it is the 18th of November um, and then there's various functions so mode you've got your chronograph there your timer hydra which I believe is water some sort of water sensor I'd have to look into it again I uh, probably will never use it like most of the uh, functions on the watch alarm one alarm two alarm three and back to the time um, and then your buttons on there are the start split, stop for your timer, and then the set button as well. So yeah, really nice little piece here. Um, really quite, it's almost like an iconic watch this. It's not, certainly not like a Casio or, or something crazy like that, but Timex, you know, they've been around for a long, long time, as, as we discovered earlier uh, with the box date. So... I think this is their sort of attempt at going it. They've they've had stuff in the past. I had remember having watches as a kid, like the Iron Man watches, Sky Master watches, those sort of things. Um, it's relatively cheap as well. It's forty nine ninety nine 
Uh, I think the recommended retail on this is £79, but with these type of watches you'll, you'll hardly ever ever pay the, the RRP for them because they're just uh, they're always on offer somewhere. Uh, mine, I got mine from Argos and I'll put that in the description below as well thanks to their, their sort of Black Friday sale that uh, that's going on at the moment. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully you've uh, enjoyed this very quick run through of the watch. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have it yourself. Uh, I know there's various versions. There's a camo one. There's a I think there's a blue version. So not quite the the plethora of G-Shocks that are out there. But still, uh, if if you want something a bit different, something that looks huge. I mean, I'll just put it. I mean, I've got small wrists, but that, <laughs> it's pretty much a wristband as opposed to a watch. So uh, even when you compare it to the the Pro Trek, how big the Pro Trek looks, it doesn't look that big. This one looks really, really mega on the watch, um, on the wrist, sorry. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Leave a like and a comment uh, and sub if you want to see more. We've got plenty more coming your way in the next few weeks as we build into Christmas. I'm going to be doing a state of the collection video. I'm up to about 25 now, so that should be very exciting. Thanks to everyone who's subbed, who's watched and commented. Any feedback is, uh, is good feedback for me as I get into this more and thank you very much and we will see you again soon